Our good friend Julie Holton over at M Connections challenged us to come up with five video marketing trends that are going to happen in 2022. So here we go. Stay tuned after this. The first trend we're going to talk about is social media stories or the stories functionality within social media platforms. And I know you're probably thinking, really, that's where we're starting? Exactly. It's going to become more of a trend, especially when it comes to video, as people like to see that part of the whole functionality within those platforms and the fact that Facebook and Instagram has really merged their story functions together so you can share between the platforms on from the separate platforms. So that's really cool, as well as YouTube. Don't forget about YouTube. They develop their own social story function called shorts. So pay attention to that. So that's trend number one. Trend number two is vlogging. I know that vlogging is not a new term. It's obviously video blogging, but it's really gonna come to the forefront with the fact that more people are on the mobile platforms than ever before. Places like LinkedIn and Instagram and TikTok. Vlogs are the thing to go to. And especially, like I said, if you're a thought leader or you have great um, ideas to put out there into the universe, people wanna hear them. So that's gonna be another one of the trends, including yourself, if you are a business owner, marketer, so on and so forth, get yourself on those platforms. Trend number three, this is especially crucial, especially for those social and video marketing agencies, user generated content. And when I say about the social and uh, media and digital marketing and video marketing companies, this means allowing or taking the content that your clients creates to make better videos. But getting those client testimonials or that user generated content about your product or your service, people are getting more comfortable with the devices to tell that story, which in essence is telling your story. So that's another trend that we're probably gonna be seeing more of. Now a sidebar here, and maybe we, we can consider this trend number 3.5. The previous three trends I just talked about kind of include this one, which is vertical video, because a lot of the things that, or a lot of the video that is shot using those previous three trends will probably most likely be vertical. You're going to have to be thinking about that frame size, which is basically nine by 16 instead of 16 by nine, when you record all that and using that within your professionally made projects. Now video trend number four is something that I caught on in the early part of 2020 is live streaming and it is becoming more and more important in several different aspects, whether it's a, a full event and thinking about fully virtual versus hybrid or, you know, just doing live stories right on the fly because folks like to gravitate towards you on the platforms that they're used to seeing things on that you are possibly on, giving your ideas, giving your thoughts, showing off a product, showing off a service, stuff like that. Live streaming and going live is going to be immensely popular, even more popular than it has been over the past two years. And not only that, but folks are used to that type of media happening or having those types of options happening, especially over what's been going on through the pandemic. So live streaming is not going to go away. It's probably going to expand even more. And video trend number five, and this is something I've been telling my clients for years. However, this is something that's been popping up on lists and that is making sure that your video is searchable. That means filling out the descriptions, making sure you have a good title, not necessarily the keywords, but making sure that it can be found, especially with the fact that Google My Business is becoming more and more of a platform that folks are coming to. YouTube is a situation in which you need to be uh, on as a platform regardless because it's the second most used search engine in the world. But if you don't fill out those titles, those descriptions, it makes sure that, uh, and also 
uploading captions or making sure that the captions are turned on, your video will not be found. So that's an investment of time and potentially an investment of money that you're gonna lose. So those are the five, five key trends to think about when it comes to video marketing. If you have any questions about any of these or wanna have a conversation about how you can incorporate some of these into what you're trying to do for 2022, and we'd love to have a chat with you. See you next time.